All right, there's a feminist named Sophie Lewis, who is probably the most famous person who pushes for the idea that we should abolish the nuclear family. Recently, there was a Vice article that highlighted her again. She was she made it in the news last year, middle middle of the year. Uh, but uh, now she's in a, a Vice article, and a number of people are bringing it up, saying, "Oh, this is what feminists really want." And <clears throat> yeah, there are some feminists out there who want that, but they're not going to get it. Um. One of their reasonings for wanting to abolish the nuclear family is so other types of families don't feel marginalized. But the answer to marginalization is not to try to marginalize the majority. That's, that, that doesn't work. You know, Just as I feel that people going around shaming white people for being white, it, it, it's stupid. It's counterproductive. Uh, trying to make other groups feel what your group feels isn't helpful to anything, you know? So, but another reason that they try to push for the ab abolition of the nuclear family is because they push that, well, it's better for a lot of people, like, it's better for a community of people for a village, so to speak. They say, they say, oh, it takes a village to raise a kid. You know, that phrase. You know, this idea that it's better for a group, large group of people to raise a kid than to put it on just two parents and that we should completely change the way that we think of uh, dealing with other people. And a lot of it is... It puts on this mindset that everyone's going to be living sort of commune life, that you know your neighbors really well, that you do good things for your neighbors, and, and then everyone works together. And, and their, so their ideas have to do with, well, in, a, in some sort of a utopia of sorts, yeah, they're, they're sort of, what they're pushing isn't a bad idea. And I understand wanting to look at the most positive elements to humans, but you can't you can't get rid of the negative side to humans. You can't just toss that aside to say, oh, well, look, this works on paper. You know, that's, that's dumb. You know, who cares if it works on paper? Who cares if it works in some sort of a simulation? Okay, when, when you add human error and how bad people can be, yeah, it's just not going to work. You know? So, I mean, they're saying that that it shouldn't be just the parents who raise the kid, who feel the need to be a mothering character. And they, they use mother as an example, so that's why I'm saying mothering. Um, for some reason, it's, it's still kind of... Fathers don't seem to be in some of these people's minds. They, they, fathers aren't even important some, to some of these people, and that's upsetting. You know, I I still see a mindset that w thinks that it, men can be just be thrown away. That we're not important in raising kids. And it's weird. I don't understand it. You know? So there are, there are people that are pushing forth some crazy messages. Fortunately, those messages aren't... They're, they're certainly not mainstream. So, should we be, when people that are rather extreme every so often pop up in the mainstream, should we be concerned? Yeah, we should, we should show some concern. We don't want that, those, that kind of shit going into the mainstream. We don't need, we don't need men to be shamed. We don't need people who want to be in a nuclear family and have that kind of system. System? It's not really a system. I shouldn't have called it a system. That kind of... Well, I guess it could be a system, but... Um, but 
the way that family members rely on each other and having that kind of... I guess I'll still call it a system. I, I don't know what else to call it. Um, the idea that wanting a nuclear family... Yeah, if people start being shamed for that, it's it's messed up. People should not be shamed for wanting a nuclear family. That those are their values. You know, if if you claim that you're inclusive and you claim you want to be inclusive, then you have to include, you know, things that even that you might think you might think overall are negative, but you you, you got to include you got to include them. It's kind of what this country was based on, you know, initially. Now, uh, there have been people, and, there, and articles, you'll, you, you might run into an article or two that, that tries to say that where some of these same feminists are saying, well, if we were able to dismantle the nuclear family, then we can dismantle capitalism, you know, that's how you dismantle capitalism. And I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, that, that it's, it's upsetting to read as far as I'm concerned. Um, there are negative things about capitalism, but I think we should be working to try to reduce the harm in the system that we've got rather than throw the whole thing out. I don't believe in throwing the whole thing out. I, I just, you know, until we can tell there's something out there that is proven to work well on a large scale, um, yeah, I, I just don't see us replacing capitalism. Yeah, we're going to put a bunch of, there's going to be a lot of Band-Aids on it. There's going to be a lot of, uh, A lot of work to make it something that's not as damaging. But every system has negative things. Every system has problems. So as much as some people would like to replace capitalism with something else, you know, uh, if you're going to look at the glaring, you're not going to look at the glaring holes that are in the system you want to replace capitalism. Um... How are you any better than these people who praise capitalism at all costs? You know? I guess I don't know what more to say. So, uh, banana.